Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here for another Halloween episode. Are you guys ready for some candied apples? I did some before, they were like monster ones, they're just way too big, so we're gonna do some tiny ones today. And I got some really cool toppings I'm gonna show you in a second. I just wanna thank audible.com for sponsoring this Halloween episode. Uh, really exciting, Audible has 180,000 books to choose from. That's right, listen to them, they're read to you. You can listen to the car, when you're going on long trips, or when you're on vacation, or just hanging around the house. I'm currently reading Mark Miller, The Heart of Leadership. It's such a good book that I'm listening to it a second time. That's how good. I've never done that with any Audible book until this one. So read with me. Use my, uh, my little free uh, audiobook offer so you can give it a try. You get 30-day try and a free audiobook. And let me know what you think. All right, you guys ready? Let's get in the Halloween spirit. Come on in close. Let me show you what I got. So I've got the smaller apples, which should be perfect. I got the sticks right here to go in them, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, the caramel bits that I'm going to melt so I can dip in them. I'm using some peanut butter trail mix, some Oreo cookies, Fruit Loops, and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. These are the four different toppings I'm gonna to use on the apples. I hope it works out. You never know, because it's the first time I've ever tried this. So let's get started. The first and most important thing you wanna do is prepare your whole work area. So prepare all your toppings, and all that. So let's get that prepared first and then I'll show you how it's all set up. Okay, as you can see on the counter, I have all my apples with the sticks in them ready to go. And then I've got my water and my heavy whipping cream in two little dishes with the caramel bits that are going to melt. And then here is the melting pot, which I might move over to here so it is closer to my toppings. There's my four bowls with toppings. I'm gonna dip them in there after I've coated the apples with the caramel. And then over here on the cookie sheet with my, my little friend Joe, we're gonna set them right on a nonstick pad so that they can cool in the refrigerator and harden up and get all amazing. Pour all of our caramel bits in here. All right, so we're gonna put it on medium heat. We're gonna add a little water to it. And I almost wanna use the handle. I think I'm gonna use the handle. I don't want to lose a lot of my caramel on the spoon. I, I'm just calling it like, I'm just like making calls as I go. I want to make sure I don't scorch this. So kind of stay on top of it. Just keep it, keep it moving around because you don't want to burn it. I got it. I had to lower my flame just a little bit. You'll know. You don't want it to be start bubbling and boiling. It's coming along just nicely. All right. Now you're going to grab your heavy whipping cream. You're going to mix in. Mix that in to give it just a creaminess and drop it down to low. Drop it down to low right now and gently stir in. We're going to dip our first apple. So here we go. Dip it right in. I'm not going all the way in either. I know you guys thought I was going to, but I'm not. There we go. Oh, it's not coating well. Hold on. All right, I'm going. There we go. Well, that's my first one. Then I'm gonna let it cool for a minute. I'm just gonna hit the treats on it. And I'm gonna rock it over to the to my little place, and there it is. Some of that some of that topping's gonna fall off. Some of it's gonna stick, but it looks like the it looks like it might be a little too thin. So I'm gonna cook it down just for a minute, let it thicken up a little bit more before I do the next one. I think we're getting a little bit thicker now. Let's see if we can't get it to to coat better. Let's just do a test. Oh, it's looking better. Okay, so here we go. Spin this through. There we go. That's a little bit better. We're getting there. And then we're going to go to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. There it is. All right, 
right, bring that over here. I think we're doing good now. Okay, I'm gonna grab the There we go. Getting it all on there. Ew. <laughs> I think it went in too soon. All right, bring it over here. Okay, I just finished all the apples and I wanted you to see I scorched it. See that? Yep, I burned the caramel in my white Caffalon pan. I'm gonna go wash it right now, see if I can get it clean. There it is. Let's see what I can do with that. Ta-da! Look at that. I freaked out because when it cooled off, I couldn't get the burnt caramel off. I had to put warm water in and boil the water in here and it all came out. Came out perfect. See that? So I just want to show you that I burnt that caramel and, and now it's all clean. Whew, I was worried. Okay guys, before I pull out my monstrosity, <laughs> I just want you to see, this is the recipe that I used and look how perfect these, they're, they're so perfect that I almost think they're just photoshopped. First of all, I mean, look at how perfect all the pieces hold on and none of them fall off. Look at that, that's on the apple. It's not even, there's no caramel behind it at all. All right, so now let's see what I did make. Okay, after pulling them out and examining them, some did better than others, okay? I have my, oh, hello, there we go. I've got the Siamese apples, that's right. These two got together in the refrigerator. I didn't know it or I would've broke them up. But anyway, they're now Siamese candied apples. Those are the regular ones I did. And then we have <laughs> the Oreo cookie one that didn't do good, see it? It slid off the sides and right down to the bottom. I think the best one is this one right here. My Fruit Loop one did the best, personally. That came out the best. Cinnamon Toast Crunch came out really good. Uh, this one, not quite as well as the other one. But that's about it. So I'm gonna bring in Jack Jr. to try one of these. Hey, dude. Hey. All right, your favorite is probably Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Probably that's one All right, go ahead. Yeah. There we go. And I'll do that one. Shut up. Come on, man, it's my first try. All right, you ready? What's up with these ones? Leave those. <laughs> They're getting together. There'll be little apples running around soon. <laughs> Giggity. All right, here we go. Mmm. Not bad. Mm -mm. Mm. Mmm, the bitterness of the apples goes good with the sweet, huh? Mm-hmm. What do you think? It's good. I'm guessing you're gonna eat it all? Hmm? Probably not all of it. All right, guys, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of here and I'll see you on the next episode. Um, we gonna do that, uh, the bloody, bloody float video? Yes, you never know. All right, we're going to get ready for that one right now. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, uh.